Oh man, oh man, he's back. Step one, remember how to do this. Step two, stop talking in third person. What is up, Coral people? If you are new here, my name is Remy, and this is the Bahama Lama Coral YouTube channel. After almost one year of sporadic posting, let's get back to it. This dude declared me dead, but like a phoenix, I rise from the ashes. <laughs> Only I didn't form into a cool, fiery bird. I just this, which isn't awesome. If you could please keep me alive by liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell notification so you know whenever I post new videos. So Remy, what happened? If you're brand new on this channel, feel free to skip ahead to all the fun stuff at the end. If you have been around for a while, if you've been following the channel, here's what happened. A little less than a year ago, BRS called me up. They were like, hey, we're interested in having you make some content for us. We want you to make some videos. We like your style. And of course, because it's BRS, I said, uh, yeah, let's go. And he agreed to do some videos for us. It's Bahama Llama Coral Remy. I was a tiny bit reluctant. What if it doesn't work out? Do I have to give up the llama channel? Some good friends in the industry and in the hobby were like, yeah, you should probably do that. So I gave it a whirl. I tried it. We were pumping out videos left and right every single week. New product video, new product video. But I just realized over time that talking about products, like just the product in a video, it's just not my thing. Also, quick shout out to Blaine from King Tide Corals. I don't know if a lot of people knew this, but he was actually hired to edit my video. So I was just sending him the footage and then he and I were working together on the edit. If you haven't, go subscribe to King Tide Corals. He's got awesome tanks. It just really started to wear on me over time. You know, no offense to the size and all the specs and the logistics and all that stuff from products. It just, it, there's a time and a place for it. And honestly, it wasn't for me and that's okay. It's okay. I tried it, I did it, I tried it, not for me. I'm not digging at BRS at all. Like there, there's a definite need for product videos in this hobby. If you buy a new skimmer and you wanna know everything about that skimmer, well, you should be able to learn that on YouTube. That's a thing, it's just not my style. Thomas does a fantastic job. I feel like he is just, he's the best when it comes to teaching people about products. It's just what he does. He's really good at that. I love the story, like why we're all in this thing and how we get from point A to point B and how every one of you that's watching this right now has a different process in doing so. You might think that you're replicating a process from something you maybe you've seen at Top Shelf Aquatics or another YouTuber, but you're still getting there on your own, in your own way. And that to me is the beauty of this. That's the beauty of this hobby and any hobby, honestly. I mean, the whole purpose of this channel is to empower reefers to step outside the box and try something new. Because honestly, if my clownfish can breed and I can raise fry, then you can too, because I'm no different than you. The only thing that's different between me and you is that I'll document it for you so that you can do better than me whenever you try it yourself. So with all of that said, BRS and I have parted ways. No hard feelings whatsoever. It just, it's not the right time. And I might've missed out on a year of growth and momentum on this channel. Any YouTuber will tell you, it's not so much about getting the subscribers and the views and all that. It's, it's really about ideation and having those ideas ready to go and getting in the flow of that. But I think I'm finally back to that. Real quick, I want to go back and revisit my goals from 2021. Okay, let's get into it. Goals for 2021. It's big, it looks scary, 25,000 subscribers. I think it's doable. And I feel like if I put some sort of like Weeping Willow raffle on the end of that, I think that's totally doable. <laughs> I think that is the coral that I get asked about almost daily. So I feel like if I put up a frag of that, once we get to 25,000 or maybe two or three, then maybe we can get there. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. So it's your job right now. Go down and comment below. What do you wanna see? I've got tons of stuff that needs to be updated. We're gonna get to some of the tanks in this video in a little bit here. I'll show you the ugliest tanks of all time. I'm not proud of it, but it's just 
what it is. And a lot of YouTubers aren't gonna show you this, but I am. What is it that you wanna see? Can I make a suggestion? Lauren from Simple Aquariums? Why don't you include your favorite Aussie? I mean, my favorite Aussie is uh, Hugh Jackman. No, me. Oh yeah, of, of course. Well, if you're going international, how about a little love for the UK? Wait, Reef Dork? Alex? Heck yeah! Word of advice though, you might want to clean those tanks up a bit. I know, I'm on it. Hey Remy, I want in too. The inappropriate reefer, yes, you can come too. Maybe you can talk your reaping willow frag into growing a little bit faster. Or you can give it to me and I can grow it off for you. <laughs> Wait, Than from Tidal Gardens? No worries, I heard you needed the help. I look forward to the collab. I'm looking forward to all of these collabs. Thank you guys so much. I didn't know you were stopping by. You totally set that all up. So you knew that they were stopping by. You knew it, you just lied to everybody. I still have a brand new tank that has been doing very well. It's sitting on the floor behind this camera that needs to be set up. And I'm very excited to set that up with you guys. All right, before we start messing with anything, let's go ahead and take a little tour around the room and get a good baseline about where the tanks are. Just a quick rundown here. We've got the Lagoon tank, the Frag tank, Uno and Dosis tanks. And then across the way here, we've got the macro algae tank. So let's go ahead and start with the Lagoon tank. Go ahead and put two minutes up on the screen and let's get through this quick update of absolute dirtiness. Here we go. All right, the Lagoon tank. As you can see, this is the little window, little pocket <laughs> that I scraped to get that Instagram teaser video earlier. Look, take a look inside. Just take a little gander inside. We've got some beautiful clownfish here, some awesome willow toadstools, and uh, lots of, yeah, that's uh, Valonia. That's bubble algae, guys. That's what it looks like in mass. <laughs> this tank is coming down. Moving on over to the frag tank. The frag tank, also mess. Lots of uh, hair algae, like here, here, here lots of stuff going on in this tank right now lots of mushrooms though got some nice mushrooms lots of algae uh toadstool in here is getting huge this is from tyler actually inland underscore reef that's getting big we've got just a lot of gsp going on here also not awesome but the corals seem to be thriving in both of these tanks for the most part they seem to be doing very well okay let's move on because we're running out of time Uno and Dos. Everybody asks about them. They're still alive. There's Dos. Say hi, Dos. You're moving soon. And then here's Uno. Also moving soon. Gosh, these tanks are so gross. You know, if you ever want motivation to clean your tanks, put them on video, you know? Last tank in the tour, the macro algae tank. You may have seen this from some of the BRS videos. This is what it looks like now. The Calerpa has taken over. There's obviously some algae here on the glass here, but this one, this tank actually looks the best out of all of them. And it is the least amount of maintenance that I do on any of the tanks. Looks really good in here. I just have to trim back some Calerpa. So if you're local and you want some Calerpa, I got you. But I think this one might actually stay up. The rest of them are gonna get taken down. All right, now that I've sufficiently embarrassed myself, let's get back. So as you and apparently Reef Dork can clearly see, need a lot of work. Thank you for bearing with me for the last year or so. From the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate it. I can't believe I still have an audience. I'm super happy for the next chapter in my reefing life and I'm happy to have you on board as well. Now, two things before I leave. Fritz Aquatics has always been kind of hanging out in the background, helping this channel grow as much as they possibly can and I really appreciate them because I've been to several Aquashellas because of them. And again, I will be going to another Aquashella. So in early August, I will be in Dallas. So make sure to get your tickets. That's Aquashella.com. Also, Scott Crow Toasty. is back on board. I want to thank Ocean State Aquatics for always supporting the channel. We appreciate them. Check out their Facebook, their YouTube, their Instagram, Ocean State Aquatics. Finally, we've made it to the portion of the video where I say, random things a lot of people just skip to this part a lot of people don't even care what i say before this they just come to the random things portion of the show folks nobody ever pronounces the l i'm gonna do it here folks i get messaged about the weeping willow leather coral on a daily basis i know that it is a magical coral i love it as well 
I do not have any frags right now, but soon we'll be fragging. And it's almost to the point where I need to raffle off the opportunity to buy one. I mean, they're not very expensive. I usually sell the Weeping Willow frags for like 50 bucks at the frag swap. So very attainable coral. It's just apparently this one is a rare strain. I don't know. I wouldn't gouge you, but I'm still working out because the line is forever long of people. And honestly, did a really terrible job of keeping track of that. So I would imagine that the first people that hit me up for the Weeping Willow might even be out of the hobby at this point. Oh, and Bill, who you may remember from the Hidden Frag Farm video, he's got a really cool frag farm in his garage, took us around, he makes really cool signs. Uh, he did this as a thank you. Sweet, right? And it's got depth. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's like many, many layers and it really reacts well with the blue light, but this is a really awesome uh, thing. So thank you so much, Bill, for sending me this. Bill owns Eye Candy Coral, so he sells coral mainly, but then he's got this sign company on the side, superbarnbrothers at gmail.com. Well, that's all I got, guys. That's all I got. Uh, thank you for joining me for the relaunch. I hope this was everything that you thought it was gonna be and more questions answered, uh, and let's get started. I was, uh, I was looking at beluga whales earlier, so there's that. All right, I'm out. Uh, have a good one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.